Real Scene TV is brought to you by Top Shelf Productions. From our television studios at the 247 Sky Bar in downtown Indianapolis, this is Real Scene TV. Here's what's coming up tonight. We're downtown here at Robert's Camera Shop. We're going to find out what this little baby does. We're at the Cold Cock Whiskey Cabin Fever Weekends. I am here at Project Home Indies. We're at the Indiana Grand Racing Casino for the Helping Hands for Freedom Heroes Gala. All that plus tickets to see the Adams Family at Clues Hall and the latest CD from the Willis Clan. The best of Indianapolis entertainment starts right now. I'm Jessica. And I'm Jenny. We're, We're from, from the Willis, Willis Clan, Clan and you're watching Real Scene TV. Equipment for RSTV provided in part by Roberts Everything Photo, Everything Imaging, Elite Media, Surround Yourself, Mobile Network One, Marketing Help for Small Businesses, Cut It Down Productions. Clothing for Real Scene TV brought to you in part by Simply Chic. Visit us in one of our central Indiana locations, Plato's Closet. Visit us on East 96th Street in Fishers. Closed captioning brought to you by Clada Irish Pub and Restaurant, offering the best in casual dining and drinks. Welcome to Clada, an Irish pub on the north side, the west side, and downtown. What do we like to do at Irish pubs? We drink and we eat. One of the simplest improvements to a steak can be pairing it with the perfect beer. Steak and Guinness, just $17.99, or pecan bronzed salmon and Pacific Bay wine, seven days a week at Clada Irish Pub. National not-for-profit Helping Hands for Freedom is dedicated to celebrating the civil servants that make this country the great one that it is. Recently, they held two events here in Indianapolis to celebrate that cause. Tonight, we give you a glimpse inside both events, starting with a Heroes Tribute Variety Show. This really is a great outreach. It's a really great need. And we hadn't heard of Helping Hands for Freedom. And um, obviously Wounded Warrior, we were familiar with more. And um, we just thought this was a really cool opportunity. We were so glad there was time and our schedule and everything and I think it's going to be a really cool event. I think tonight is going to be the most memorable by far. Just to be able to do it for the troops and the true heroes, it's such a memorable experience and it makes me so happy to know that my music or anything I can do can help out with this amazing cause. See I'm real, I do awesome me. I'm not fake, don't ever call me lazy. I won't stay put, give me a chance to be free. People sell these sort of scenes to suffocate me. You need me, man, I don't need you. You, need you know it's a $250 fine in the state of Indiana to honk your horn at a highway worker? Yeah, they're afraid you might wake them up. <laughs> what does it mean for you to be able to perform for all of the soldiers, uh, or in honor of the soldiers and the fallen officers and their families? To be able to go out and do something that not everybody can do, that there's a need for, is important. Like, I've done every single benefit for everything I could do with the troops. I do all kinds of fundraisers all the time, and it means a lot because they're over there, man. They're, they're, they're fighting for us, and we have our freedom because of those guys, and it, it means a lot to me. And I brought my kids with me tonight, and I think it's a cool thing to show them what we're doing. Like you know you're poor when the light company comes to your house at night, and they blow out your candles. <laughs> we said no lights! I do a lot for the military with a lot of different foundations, so I love my military, all of them, even the weekend warriors. <laughs> It was hard when my dad went to Iraq, but it's been good afterwards because since that hap since if that never happened, we wouldn't have had Helping Hands for Freedom. What does it mean for you to be able to perform at this particular event? It's I'm on honor to be able to play for the soldiers and everybody here. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be able to play or anything. Later in the show, we'll bring you more from the Heroes Weekend and take you inside their Heroes Gala. The list of saints is past counting, but none so lovable and well-known as St. Patrick. So come inside and stay a while at Connor's Irish Pub as Indy pays tribute to the patron saint of beer. 
Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Damn, son, isn't that enough? What are you making me tonight? I'm gonna make two gingers, whiskey with ginger ale, and a Ooh. little bit of lime. Lime? So let me take a sip of this. Mm, delicious. That's really good, that's strong. I mean, everybody likes a strong drink though. And what's the best food here? Our pizza is probably the most popular. Everybody I've heard pizza a million times now. Everybody loves the cheese balls. That's the drunk favorite. The drunk favorite. Okay, so how about your drink specials? What's what's a Friday night, Saturday night look like here? Uh, Friday night's usually really busy. We have pub can specials, so anything uh, from England or Ireland, pub can, 16 ounces. We have those for $3. There is a very uh, wide variety of people here. It's really cool, though. I love it. Do you celebrate it here every year? Yes, I do. Every year. Well, what's your favorite food to eat here at Connor's Pub? Oh, God. Probably breadsticks. Love breadsticks. Bread. Late, night, late night breadsticks. It doesn't get any better. The cheese balls. I do love the cheese balls and the pizza as well. St. Patrick's Day and all these folks here are all part of the Indianapolis GAA. Oh, wow. You know, you have to have the best attire on in the whole bar if you just want to party like the queen of the bar. So... There's a large variety of people here, so we like how all different kinds of people come and hang out, so it's a good time. Very cool. What's your favorite food here to eat? I uh, just had the pizza, so pizza's pretty good here. I've heard pizza a lot. Man, I always come to Connors and I'll say, Patty, son. So I've known about this place since I was a little boy. All right. <laughs> well, I hope you <laughs> enjoy yourself. <laughs> Have a great night. I heard, I heard there was a great party going on for St. Patrick's Day here. So what brings you out to this wonderful, amazing, uh, beautiful tent? Beer. Nice to meet you. He's, he's amped up for St. Patrick's Day. What brings you out to Connor's Pub tonight? Uh, I come here all the time. I'm a regular. What's your favorite thing to eat here then? Uh, probably the pizza. Well, cheers. And happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patty's Day. This is the first year in three years that I have not been in Dublin, Ireland for St. Patty's Day. So we're out here trying to do it right by Indiana standards and uh, come out to Connors. Good draft Guinness. Good Guinness. A lot of green. So Connors Club is the place to be. On St. Patrick's Day? Without a doubt. St. Patty's Day, of course. St. Patrick's Day. So do you all come here often or is this just a St. Patrick's Day festivity? No, we come here often. Yeah, I'd say at least, at least twice a month. I saw you from afar. I saw this wonderful jumpsuit. I appreciate it. I, I wear this every day. Not just St. Patrick's Day. No, every day of the year. This With the, the green hat? This is the one day it looks okay. Woo! <laughs> this is St. Patty's Day, and Connors Club's the only place to go in Broderbull. Duh. Duh. Okay, so do y'all come here often, or is it just for St. Patrick's Day? We come here all the time. We love Connors Pub. Connors Pub is notorious for ordering whatever you want and standing on the bar while you drink it, and we love that. And the tent party brings me back every single time. Tent party is rocking. I'm loving it. Oh my God, it's badass. The line and you have red hair, too, so that means you're Irish. It means I have to be out here on St. Patty's Day. Have to be. You have red hair. Yes, I do. Are you Irish? I am uh, Scottish and Irish. Scottish and Irish. Okay, so what brings you out to Connors Pub? Uh, I got me friends here. Green beer. Uh, I like to drink the green beer, and uh, I like to get, uh, I like to celebrate, really. Cheers to the Irish. Woo! As you know, India is packed full of great restaurants and events, so subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to see more. And if you're interested in having your restaurant or event featured on the show, email us at sales at realscenetv.com. Coming up next on Real Scene TV, a new segment, especially for the tech gurus, and a rockin' music weekend that indie music fans are gonna love. Pearl Street is an excellent place to uh, eat and have a great beer. It's just very laid back, friendly. Um, it's a great place for locals to go. It's a great place for people out of town to come check out. Don't miss these great shows coming to town with Broadway Across America. The Addams Family, May 13th through the 18th, Book of Mormon, June 17th through the 22nd, and Mamma Mia, 
October 3rd through the 5th. What do you get when you blend the smooth flavor of honey with a burst of citrus flavors? Honey Lemon Infusion by Indiana Vodka, handcrafted in the heartland. A teenage pregnancy can signify an uncertain future for an unprepared youth. Tonight we're taking a look at a group here in Indianapolis that brings hope to young mothers. How long has Project Home Indy been in business? Project Home Indy um, actually began in 2004. Kristen Moreland and three close friends, uh, Lakshmi Haskanaka, Christina Kinecki, and Chris Collins, um, got together one day after Kristen heard about a report of a similar home being opened in another state. And this home was catering to um, teen mothers who are 18 and under and suffering from homelessness. They're unable to get housing due to being under 18. They can't sign any leases. Um, and this is a need um, actually across the USA. So Kristen researched Indianapolis to see if we had any similar organizations that provided this service needed to this underrepresented population. And she found out that Indianapolis doesn't have any shelters for 18, um, 18 year old and under young women who are mothers. And so she and her three friends decided we're going to create an organization that will serve this need that is not being filled. And so Project Home came to existence. What are some of the different programs you do here at Project Home Indy? So at Project Home Indy, we provide our girls with opportunity to go out into the community and participate in community-based workshops and programs. And at these different programs and workshops, our girls learn leadership. They've learned how to be prepared for college. They've learned about how to be better friends and family members. Um, they've also had the opportunity to um, explore who they are you know when you become a mother you know sometimes you forget who you are and what your role is in life I mean you know that you're a mom but who am I and these girls are still under 18 and so going to these different programs in the community has given them a chance to be a teen be with other teens and actually just learn more about themselves and what they want to do in their future Um, they help me get back to school, transportation, they help me get my ID and my permit. And um, we, we worked up to allowances and they gave us allowances, they gave us anything we needed, clothes, shoes, diapers, wipes, everything. Special thanks to our friends at Simply Chic for sending Sienna on her way with the new outfit. If you are in need of assistance or you simply want to learn more about Project Home, visit projecthomeindy.org. Coming up next, real tips and a rockin' good time in the city. Tax and Dolls is the tavern with a twist, located in the heart of downtown Indianapolis. The dolls can serve you one of over 50 beers they have on tap, and the kitchen is open late to satisfy your hunger needs. Gather your friends and play a round of pool seven nights a week, or dance the night away with some of Indy's best DJs on Friday and Saturday nights. Taps and Dolls is located on South Meridian Street, across from Blue, and right above Six. 247 Sky Bar. The class and sophistication of the yesterday meet the chic modern style of today's nightlife. Take a step back in time and up to the next level, 247 Sky Bar. Featuring nostalgic decor, ample seating, laid back music, and the classiest drinks in downtown Indianapolis. 247 Sky Bar is located at 247 South Meridian, within walking distance of all major downtown attractions and hotels. And now, introducing 247 Sky Bar Live, located next door to 247 Sky Bar. Take your concert experience to new heights at our ideally located venue in downtown Indianapolis. Check out the concert series by visiting us on Facebook. At 247 Sky Bar Live, the sky's the limit. Welcome to Clotta, an Irish pub on the north side, the west side, and downtown. What do we like to do at Irish pubs? We drink and we eat.
Jeff Joseph's is an environment of modern elegance in which Indianapolis locals and visitors alike come to entertain important clients over lunch, gather for dynamic private meetings and functions, and experience unforgettable special events, such as our renowned monthly wine dinner and live entertainment evenings. Our menu changes seasonally, and we work a lot with local products and sustainable products, so come down and say hi. Welcome back. Whether you're a novice or the next big thing, there's nothing wrong with a little advice. In a new segment we like to call Real Tips, we'll bring you expert advice on a variety of topics. Tonight's Real Tips is brought to you by our friends at Roberts. With summer coming, we stopped by Robert's Camera Shop to take a look at some fun cameras to make your vacation photos and videos look great. I've got Jared here to show us a couple of those right now. So Jared, what do we have here? So this is the uh, Patriot AR Drone 2.0, controlled from your iPhone, iPad, Android device. Um, it records HD video, 720, flies 165 feet. Let's go check this drone out. I wanna see how it works. Wow, check it out! Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Okay, so the camera is on the pointy end? Yes, it is. It's pointing right at us at the moment. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> and then you said there's one on the bottom? Yes, there is. There's one on the bottom that gets altitude, so it knows how high it is. And it also records uh, standard uh, video. But when it records, it records directly onto my iPad. Oh, um, okay. But so yeah. that's the storage. It doesn't mm -hmm. do it on the, on the camera right. itself. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, it shoots it as a live stream down into my uh, iPad so I can see it as I'm flying it. It's got a wide angle lens on it, 720 HD video coming off of it. You can do three megapixel still photos. Check this out. You just hit your landing button and it just oh. lands for you. For about $15, I bought four new propellers and put them all in ourselves. And it took about two minutes to put it all together and oh. it was very easy. And so how does it overall cost then? What's your cost? Well, it's two ninety nine to get it, and okay. it comes with the battery and the copter. Awesome, Jared. Well, this is extremely cool, the drone, and they can get it here at either store? Or? Absolutely, either store. Yep. Fantastic. Well, let's go check out the other camera now. Sounds fun. Tell me about this camera. How is this going to help us? Well, there's a couple things about this I like a lot. It's small and it's easy to carry around. It's called the Nikon AW120, and the AW stands for all weather. And so this thing's designed to be heavily abused. It can take 59 feet underwater, you can drop it six feet straight to the concrete, sand, ice, none of that has anything to do with this camera. So is it waterproof or water Absolutely. resistant? Which, Just, what's the difference? The difference is water resistant and waterproof is water resistant you can take a splash or something, but waterproof you can actually swim underwater and take pictures of fish. And that's what this does? Absolutely. That one's only 349. Can they get prints of those if they come here? Oh, absolutely. We have a full-fledged lab. We can get print. We can make prints from uh, digital files. We can make prints from negatives, slides, anything that you got. You guys kind of cater to both sides. You got the professional, high savvy end, and you got the person that has no idea what they want. Explain how you're able to cover all those bases. What we're trying to do is we're trying to fit the customer to a particular camera. So that every camera has their own benefits. Every customer has their own requirements, and so we just try to figure what that is. If that's a professional, if that's the amateur, whatever. But we can figure out the right camera for whoever's in here. Fantastic, and you have more than one location. Absolutely, we have a location in uh, Carmel, we have a location downtown. Everything we shoot here at Real Scene TV comes from cameras that can be purchased or rented right here from Robert's Camera Shop. And we're gonna be hanging out with Robert's throughout the year, getting other useful camera tips. So if you have anything in mind that you're wanting to know about, make sure you email us at rstv at realscenetv.com or message us on Facebook. The snow kept us in all winter long and every time the weatherman opened his mouth, you wanted to cold cock him. To get over that, Shyla checked into a hotel and checked out three days of music, food, and people. There's a lot of cool vendors here, jewelry. Um, you know, there's an artist over here who can buy your paintings and, and Santa Claus all year round. Who would have thought? I would love to invite any girls that happen to catch this and they see me sometimes. Feel free to come right on over and sit on my lap. Beautiful, beautiful work. Uh, Lydia, is this your first time at Colcock? Yes, it is. And you were just a judge as well today. I was. I was helping judge the tattoo contest. So. Did you have a nice weekend? This is the last day, unfortunately, but it looked like y'all rocked it out. Oh, I had a great weekend. It was, it was awesome. It won't be my last because I really enjoyed the people here and we had a, a nice weekend. Our location was great because I could hear all the bands perfectly. I was right across from there, so I really enjoyed that. What was your favorite part this weekend? 
Burlesque show is always entertaining. Um, a lot of people love that. And I know the troupe uh, personally, and they're all great females. And the cold cock whiskey. Um, you know. Everybody's drinking whiskey, that's right. It was exciting. We interviewed a lot of great bands, seen a lot of musicians and that I hadn't met before, so it was exciting. We actually had them on the show the week before in sort of like the promotional hype and everything. Got to meet a lot of great bands in the studio. They perform acoustically. And then we seen them perform live at the Cold Cock Whiskey Cabin Fever Weekend, and they were amazing. It was a great three-day weekend. Uh, we had 30 bands. Uh, the burlesque did just wonderful. Uh, Rich Hardesty was fabulous, Chief Greenbud. Uh, Audacity, uh, I, all the bands were just right, right on. I loved it. It was a beautiful thing. Band of Nomads, too. I got to throw out to the lead singer, Ari, who is just absolutely fantastic. Our vendors were incredible. Everything was a win-win plus plus. I was very happy to do this, and we'll do it again. This is one of the finest establishments I've ever worked with. Um, this hotel knows how to work with people. Yeah. The Clarion Waterfront Hotel on the west side of Indy. Please give them a visit. <laughs> Coming up next, part two of Helping Hands for Freedom's Heroes Weekend. More music from the Willis clan and your chance to win tickets to see Adam's family. Don't go anywhere, because why would you? It's about to go down. You do not want to miss Robert's Camera Shop Spring Expo, May 9th through the 10th. They'll have sensor cleaning for $20, tons of giveaways, and the manufacturers will be on site to get all your questions answered and to give you the best possible prices. Plus, they'll even buy your used equipment that you don't even use anymore. So check it out May 9th, Roberts downtown on South Meridian Street, and May 10th in Carmel on Old Meridian. Let's do some drinks! We've got karaoke two nights a week. We have live bands every weekend, great food always, small prices for a lot of food. We have also on Thursdays the Hogwild Bike Night. It's sometimes a charitable event, but it's always great people, a lot of bikes, a good time. So I just want to welcome everybody out to have a big party in a small town. And let me, Ashley, make you a drink any weekend. I'm here every weekend, all the time. I uh, actually grew up here in Fountain Square, a couple blocks from where the Red Lion's at right now. And it's really cool for, from my point of view to be here 30 years later to actually have a restaurant in this area. You know? All we ever drink and eat is fish and chips. It's got to be the batter, it's got to be very, very light and fresh, and it's exactly right. The cod is perfect, the chips are perfect. This is a great place. It's buzzing, it's full, the food's great, service is great. I'll be back. The top five reasons to go to Pure Eatery. Number five. Supporting local artists, breweries, and food providers give me warm, fuzzy feelings inside. Number four. Can you say no to a face like this? <laughs> Number three. Where else can you get healthy food at 2 a.m.? Number two. Pure pressure. Number one reason to go to Pure Eatery. Fresh ice food! All right. Welcome back to Real Scene TV. Earlier in the show, we took you inside Helping Hands for Freedom's Heroes Variety Tribute. And next, we're taking you inside the second half of the weekend with a very touching tribute to our veterans. The night started off with performances by amazing national and local talent paying tribute and honoring our veterans. I think of their sacrifice paid with their love. To know that their loved ones somewhere survive. This last song I dedicate I to anybody who is involved with the military in any way, whether you're a family or you're actually serving. Everybody is a hero, and this is to you guys. Rise made, made in the USA. Whoa. Then the night quickly moved into a night of honoring and thanking humanitarians, civil servants, and veterans that have served locally and in combat over the years. This award is given to a person that goes above and beyond the call of duty. This person is not military or public safety or it doesn't have to be. And the very first award winner of this is David Vincent Rawl. 
Over 200 warriors from five states were in attendance with special guests from the Vietnam War, the Marines, and the Gold Star families. He carried 31 of his comrades off of the field so they could get the dog tags and preserve the bodies until the battle went down for a month so that their families could have their uniforms and their dog tags and their families could be honored. This man is a true hero, United States Marine, Jim Hurt. Um, Daryl's a purple heart. I'm not gonna tell you the story, but he carries the scars with him. He carries the scars up and down his body. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2014 National Wounded Warrior of the Year, Specialist Olivia Tellis. So what does it mean to be honored by an organization such as Helping Hands for Freedom? I promise you, at times when you're overseas, you do question why you're wearing that uniform. You do question, what am I here for? And to come home and to have an organization thank you for what you did do, it's just reassuring. The ways to give back and help our nation's heroes are endless. Number one is that when they see a veteran or see you know, someone that they, they know that has served is thank them, first and foremost. Um, they can get on our website, helpinghandsforfreedom.org, and it tells all kinds of things that we have going on in the community. And maybe if it's an area that, that we're not currently doing something, there's another veterans organization, another nonprofit organization that's out there really soliciting and helping the veterans. You know, just get involved. Get involved with your community. And the thing is, is it might not always be about the military. It might be police. It might be, you know, children or battered women or whatever it is, but just get involved in the community because there's so many things as, as, as individuals that we can go out there and we can make an impact just by donating our time, our resources, and really focusing in on helping people. At both events, you heard music from TV's The Willis Clan, and lucky you, we're giving away a free copy of their new CD. So, all you have to do is follow us on Twitter, tweet us your favorite story from tonight's show, and we'll pick a winner and send you a free copy of their new album. And on to our second giveaway for the night, two tickets to see the Adams Family at Clues Memorial Hall. Just head on over to the Real Scene TV Facebook page and tell us who your favorite Adams Family character is. We'll pick a winner at random. Good luck. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Real Scene TV. And thanks to our friends at the 247 Sky Bar Lounge. And thank you for keeping it real. We'll see you in two weeks. Bye-bye. What? Ah, uh, stop. Do you like beer, Jason? We have an insane amount of viewers right now. It's pretty exciting. Was that somber enough? You gotta stretch before these things. A free coffee. You shut, shut, shut your mouth. You, you shut your mouth when you're talking shut to your me. Mouth. Shut, shut your mouth when you're talking to me. Shut, 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 shut your mouth. <laughs> Zip it good. <laughs> Real Scene TV is brought to you by Top Shelf Productions.